Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited that you joined me today and I'm excited to show you what I'm going to be making. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. So today I'm going to be trying something new that I haven't tried on a tumbler yet. Um, I've got a 12 ounce coffee mug here and I've prepped it by sanding it and cleaning it and then spraying it with lavender spray paint and I want to do see if I can put this um, opal cellophane paper onto the tumbler under resin. So I'm going to be using the Tacket method and if you haven't seen the Tacket method yet um, you're just using uh, Eileen's Tacket over and over and I mix just a couple drops of water in there to thin it a little bit and you put it onto the cup and then you go back over it until you get a nice smooth surface. You don't want to see any ridges um, because those will show, but uh, if you're using glitter, it's not going to matter, I don't believe, on this cup because I'm kind of wanting to get a crinkly look with the cellophane. So um, if I do have a ridge there, I don't think it's going to show. But still, the practice is to get it as smooth as you possibly can, uh, remove any excess and uh, let it dry to a clear coat. It will be tacky. You can do a second coat if you'd like. And um, that way you have double tacky. <laughs> so I'm just doing it all around the surface of the mug and on the base of the mug. I haven't put it onto the handle yet because I plan on putting glitter onto the handle. So it seems to be working really well. The cellophane will lay down. I do kind of want to get it flat. I don't want to have any places where um, my resin can get under there and lift it away from the surface. So you can see how you can pick it up and put it somewhere else and then it's still a little tacky. So I guess that's why they call it tack it over and over. <laughs> but I do like to use this method because you're not um, putting it directly on into resin. I can still correct it while it's in this tack it mode um, and get the desired look I'm after. And it's seemed to be a little dry and I couldn't get the exact look that I wanted so I just tried it with putting some of the tacket and then um, onto the cup and then adding the pieces of cellophane directly into the wet tacket and it was looking more like I wanted it to look so, and I'm going to layer this. I'm not just going to put on just one layer of, of this. I'm going to lay more over the top of it because I do want to get um, that crinkly cellophane look to it. But it will have that opal shine to it. And then I took my heat gun after I got all the cellophane on there. And it, it, it's a shrink wrap is actually what it is. And I used my heat gun and it shrunk it against the cup. But there was a couple places where the, they overlapped each other that bucked up, you know, and kind of made it bucky or bulky right there. So I just trimmed those areas down. And then um, if anything needed to be covered back up, I just put a little bit more tacket on it and a little bit more of the 
cellophane paper. But I want to make sure that I didn't have any parts of it that when I put on my coat of resin is going to be um, above the resin where I have to try to fix it after I uh, have a cured layer of resin on there. So I was getting it as smooth as I could. And there was a couple places that still had kind of a bare look to it. So I just cut small pieces to just cover up that area. I am going to put a um, decal over this. So um, in vinyl, and it is also going to be a um, kind of an opal color, but um, it contrasts really well with uh, the cellophane that I'm putting on there now. So I have it on the turner and I have my resin ready. This is Fro Rizzle. It's a one to one ratio and um, I've got about 20 mils in this cup. And I'm just going to pour it on there and kind of rub it around. I want to make sure that I don't disturb any of the places where the cellophane is laying on top of each other so I'm being very very gentle with how I rub the resin onto the surface of the cellophane making sure that I get all the places covered good and I'm gonna let it turn and cure but before I do that, this has um, already been turning for a few minutes, so um, I've mixed up a little bit more resin, and um, I'm going to use two colors. I've got the um, Diamond Mica, and then I have the Pearl X Purple. And I'm just going to stream these colors onto the cup and I'm sorry I did not realize that the cup wasn't fully in the camera view but I will move it over in a minute and you will be able to see so um, you can see where I'm putting the the diamond mica on there and it's uh, going to contrast really well and then that deep purple from Pearl X um, is going really good with that lavender so and I already put the glitter on the handle as well but I want to get some of the mica onto the handle I want to make sure that it's on the bottom and then I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm just going to warm I'm going to reverse the turn and then warm the mica resin up just a little bit and you're going to start to see it swirling as it turns. See that? That's going to be beautiful. So here it is slowed down where you can really see how the mica looks on there and anywhere I see like a little puddle um, built up from the turning um, I just use my stick and I just smooth it out just a little bit just to make sure that I don't have any ridges and lumps and everything because I want to have a smooth surface for my um, decal that I'm going to put on here. Making this cup for a friend and I hope that she really likes these colors because this is the first time I've ever done this technique and um, I'm loving it. I think it looks fantabulous but that's just my opinion. <laughs> so I hope that she likes it too. So we're going to let this turn and cure and then we're going to come back and we'll be ready to put our decal on. And I'm going to be using um, vinyl actually 
instead of a water slide. So um, I think it's going to look really good against these colors. I think it's going to be a perfect. Just want to make sure that I have everything okay. Don't have any drips that's not fixed. And here it is cured. I mean, look at those colors. Is that not awesome? Now right here, my um, final scripture looks like it's white, but it's not. It, it is an opal and it has kind of a bluish purple cast to it. And I'm going to get stuck on there. Making sure that I get it put on straight. With this curve, it's a little bit difficult, so you have to work with it. But I did it. And here it is. I put a top layer of Fro Rizzle on it. And it is cute. Look, you, this is what I was talking about. It looks blue. It looks pinkish purple and here you can see that cellophane peeking through between the um, purple and the white drizzle that I did on there so you have that opal effect beneath it and then I just think that this is the perfect vinyl to go on here and I love this scripture so and since this is my first video for 2021 we can make this our motto because after the year we just had <laughs> we need some hope here so uh, i love how this turned out i hope you have enjoyed the video i hope you like the cup if you do um please click like and share and leave me some comments i love your feedback i'd like to know what y'all think about what I make and all those things help my channel grow if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do that now and ring that bell and you'll get notified when I upload videos in the future and I intend to upload more so I hope to see you there and I want to thank you for joining me and I also want to wish everyone a happy and healthy new year Thanks, y'all. See you in my next creative escapade. Bye-bye for now.